Hey YouTube, this is Frank with Adventures of Frank and Tina. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of my office and uh, my shop. And uh, I'm going to show you my 1988 Chevrolet Convertible Corvette. Uh, it's got 70,000 miles. Uh, and it was my kind of run around date car in high school. So Tina don't love this thing that much. So anyway, y'all stay tuned. Okay, you got to forgive me because my screen is busted on my phone here, but this is some of my Star Wars stuff. My office is full of all kind of junk. There's the Death Star, a boxing gloves, unicycle. I'm weird. Like all these toys. All this Avenger stuff. I collect all that. That's why when Tina says I've been somewhere playing with my toys. She's probably right. There's a picture of me and my dad. He's my football coach. Uh, I made that trash can lid for a play in uh, the fifth grade, which we were playing the Spartans. So that was my that was my uh, shield off of a trash can. I just had to keep it. Ewok Village. There's my stuff. There's a bunch of I don't know if you can see, Tatey busted my camera. And there's another e Rock Village, another Millennium Falcon guitar stuff. Big Dale Earnhardt fan. That was a band I played in. Uh, Boba Fett, Darth Vader. There's my, I don't know if you, sorry about that, the light. Can't really see inside the glass case, but I got a $6 million man stuff and a whole bunch of Star Wars stuff in there. And this was, my mother was a male lady. So this was, uh, I'm working on two of the Death Stars. Um, there's some of the stuff there. But if you see all the Star Wars men, it's got about every Star Wars man there was. This is a United States post office desk that was getting thrown out. And my mom asked the post office, spoke postmaster if she could have it. They said, yeah. So I got, I've got some cool stuff. Uh, there's a cash register. This was been in my family for years and years. So, pretty cool. Very old cash register. Not much cash in it. But, uh, and there's a little stuff. And there is my Corvette. Right here. 88 Corvette. Convertible. It's in pretty good shape. Um, interior nozzle in really good shape. And uh, like I said, Tina don't dislike it, but she don't love it because we can't get the kids in it. And it more just sits up here and collects dust. And gets drove a little. Runs really good. Anyway, real good running. Pretty fast to me, car. Uh, but like I say, this was my date car when I was in high school. It belonged to my dad, but he let me uh, drive it on all my dates. He was always real cool about letting me drive his Corvettes. And I ended up getting this one from him. And um, I don't believe no amount of money would buy it uh, because it was his and he meant a lot to me. And he's not here no more. So, but if you see the things, still pretty darn sharp. And everything works on it like it should. Real good car. Real good car. Let it set up for a while. And had to get all of the fuel system going through because I didn't crank it for a lot of a, a few years, and uh, I had to pay a fortune to get it going through. Now, my dad's had a bunch of Corvettes, and uh, he let me drive most of them uh, when I was young. Um, these are off of a, I believe, 
a 67 Corvette that he had. A uh, set of Corvette rally wheels. I've got them. That come out of my dad's garage. It's old blacksmith stuff. And so I got my old chest and old shovels and, you know, lots of old stuff. There's some Barney stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly weird. There's my old Coke bottles. All these chests are full of stuff. And, uh, so these chests right here, there's a reason that the, the bubble top chests were around like that one that's got R2-D2 sitting on it. Because there were steamers chests that go on a, a boat ship back in the, uh, back in the day, river boat or whatever. And if you were rich, you had a bubble top chest because it meant your chest got on top. Nobody got to stack anything else on top of it, which meant you got your luggage first. Uh, anyway, mom, mama likes that alligator. It come out of a casino in Biloxi, Mississippi. My mama wanted it, so my daddy bought it from the casino. And, you know, casinos, everything's for sale if you got enough money. But there's my Star Wars man, some of them. Uh, some of my baseball things. That come out of the Peachtree Plaza. That's a sign that says you're on the seventh floor. And that's a big high rise. There's, this is parked tail light from a 55 Cadillac that we had. Uh, I saved a little piece of almost every car. Um, I don't know why, but I do. Uh, see there's Star Wars carrying case. Battleship, anybody played that? These Lance cookie, the Lance cookie jar was in my dad's shop. They sold stuff out of there. Those are KC light covers off of my um, four wheel drive I had in high school, which is crazy. Uh, this right here is a part to the 84 Corvette that my dad had before this one. And uh, that is the funniest story, that silver Corvette. He traded it for for this one right over here. But that Corvette, uh, with that part, uh, I had went out on a date with a girl and I was showing off, I was about 16, and I was showing off slinging the Corvette around and I didn't know my mom bought two gallons of white paint in the back. It was a coupe, it wasn't a, a convertible. And th those things smashed together and exploded, it had red interior in it. And I had to take that Corvette home. I had to take that girl home, number one, covered in white paint and her dad was extremely mad but the other thing is the when, when i took the corvette home the only place that was red in it on a red interior vet was the place where me and her both was sitting and i had to take it to him oh my god he almost killed me uh, he had to pay to get the entire interior put back in that car and it was it was awful so why he ever let me drive this one again i'll never know but that's what kind of dad I had. He did. Uh, ended up giving me this car. And, uh, which, you know, he, him and mom said I could have it years before she got sick. But then after he died, my sister was like, yeah, that's that's your car. You know, and she, could, she didn't have to do that. My sister could have said, no, that's half my car. And she didn't. She said, nope, that's your car. And, uh, was very very sweet of her but uh but anyway that's my corvette um uh, gonna show it to you hope you like it and uh it's a 1988 convertible it's got 70,000 miles not for sale anyway yeah see look at there there's trump i got some all kind of old stuff uh anyway anyway y'all have a blessed day and I hope you like my 1988 Chevrolet Convertible Corvette. Sorry for the bad video, but Tatey broke my camera and it's not working real well. So y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.